So this question asks us to write a polynomial function of least degree with integer coefficients that has the given zeros. So one zero is one plus three i. That means that we have x is equal to one plus three i. And then we also have negative four, which is a multiplicity two. So we have x is equal to negative four, but we know that that's a multiplicity two. One thing about zeros that are imaginary, that means that they will also have the conjugate zero. So it will also have one minus, we'll have a second zero, that is one minus three i, that's the conjugate to the imaginary zero that's given. Okay, so if we solve each of these equations for zero, we can take our x is equal to one plus three i, move everything over to the left hand side, so we get x minus one minus three i is equal to zero. For this factor, we can get x minus one plus three i is equal to zero. And then for this factor, we move it over, we get x plus four is equal to zero. Okay, so now we can write each of these zeros are now the factors of our polynomial function. So we can write them as x minus one minus three i times x minus one plus three i and then the x plus four because it is a multiplicity two we have to square its factor. All right so this is our function our polynomial function written in a factored form but we're likely supposed to write that more in a standard form so let's distribute all of this out. When we distribute out the two imaginary factors we get x times x is x squared x times negative 1 is negative 1x x times 3i is plus 3ix negative 1 times x is negative 1x negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1 negative 1 times plus 3i is minus 3i negative 3i times x is negative 3ix negative 3i times negative 1 is plus 3i and negative 3i times positive 3i is negative 9i squared okay so that's all of our terms for our imaginary factors and then let's just bring down the x plus 4 squared for now okay next thing let's combine some like terms so we don't have any other squared terms so we can bring down the x squared I like to when I'm combining like terms to cross out the terms that I've used so that I can see what's left we have a negative 1i and a negative 1i let's make that negative 2i and cross those off we have a, a positive 3ix and a negative 3ix those can just cancel out directly with nothing left we can bring down the plus 1 then we have a minus 3i and a plus 3i those can cancel out directly and let's bring down our negative 9i squared and then bring down the x plus 4 squared okay the next thing I would do is keep in mind that i squared because i is the square root of negative 1 this means the square root of negative 1 squared that square and the square root cancel out leaving us just with negative 1 so this i squared we can replace with negative 1 making it x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 9 times negative 1 and then bring down the x plus 4 squared so negative 9 and negative 1 um, are multiplying negative 9 and negative 1 makes positive 9 and when we add it to the positive 1 that gives us x squared minus 2x plus 10 and then let's bring down the x plus 4 but writing it out in 
separately so that we can distribute that out since this one's now simplified down fully. And notice when we multiply by the conjugate, we end up with no imaginary terms left once we get rid of the i squared using the i squared is equal to negative 1. Cool. From here, now let's multiply x plus 4 times x plus 4. I'll bring down the x squared minus 2x plus 10. So then x times x is x squared plus 4x and then plus another 4x plus 16. Okay, combining like terms. 4x and 4x is 8x, so x squared plus 8x plus 16. All right, so we're almost there. Let's now distribute out again. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. x squared times 8x is 8x cubed. x squared times 16 is 16x squared. Negative 2x times x squared is negative 2x cubed. Negative 2x times 8x is negative 16x squared. Negative 2x times 16 is negative 32x. And 10 times x squared is 10x squared. 10 times 8x is 80x. And 10 times 16 is 160. So notice I'm doing this like very methodically so I make sure I don't miss any terms. Okay, from here we just need to combine like terms. Bring down the x to the fourth because there's no other x to the fourths. We have an 8x cubed and a negative 2x cubed. So those combine to make 6x cubed. We have a 16x squared and a minus 16x squared. So those can directly cancel out. But then we also have a 10x squared, so we'll bring that one down and cross it off. Then we have a negative 32x and an 80x. That makes plus 48x. Those are done. And then bring down the plus 160. So there we go. There's our function. It's written in standard form. And you typically just write like f of x is equal to, and then you write your function in standard form. And that should finish out this problem. So as always, feel free to leave any comments that you have down in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions of problems that you would like to see a similar step-by-step -step homework solution, leave those down in the comments, or if it's difficult to leave in the comments, then you can email it to me. My email address is down in the description below. And yeah, I hope that was helpful for you. Happy studies.